Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have an exciting collection to share with you. This is a collaboration between Mooncat and the Powerpuff Girls. There are six pieces in this collection. The collector's box is so cute. It's limited edition. In the collector's box, you'll also find the nail art stickers. The bolishes for this collection do come in a custom box here. Of course, decorated with all the graphics and all the fan favorites from the show. If you don't know, the Powerpuff Girls is a cartoon series by the Cartoon Network. There are six special effects polishes. Essentially, they're Krellies with glitters, lots of flakies. Also, the nail polish bottles are customized as well. So without further ado, let's get swatching. So first up, we have Don't Cry Bubbles, and this one is, of course, the light blue of the collection. If you don't know, Bubbles is the blue character in the show, and of course, we have a perfect match of that blue. Got some iridescent flakies in there, we got some shimmers, such a gorgeous shade of blue. Next we have Blossom's Fire Breath. It's very light pink, almost like a rose. I would have liked a darker shade for her. Some iridescent flakes that are a little bit chunkier. So you might have to play around with those when you're applying the nail polish. It is very sheer. It doesn't have much color to it, but it is such a delicate color. Next we have Hardcore Buttercup, and of course, Buttercup is the green character of the trio. I'm not a fan of green, but I do really love the combination of the different iridescent flakies in here, and of course, the glitters. We gotta have glitter. Like This collection, to me, just the choice of the formula to represent this Powerpuff trio, I think it's so perfect. I mean, they really went in with this. This was was really fun to me so this is the final look so this next one is called forces of evil so this one is definitely part of that theme song if you know about the powerpuff girls i feel like i want to rewatch the series now but anyway this one is more of a deeper fuchsia it's really bright like you see it on camera here as bright as bright in person as well you layer it nicely into two coats it really gives a jewel like finish and i la 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 love it we got those chunky flakes in there too to, to give it some dimension we got some glitters there's a little bit of gold shimmer in there too just everything together feels really cool even though these formulas do have a lot of texture as in they have just a lot of glitters in there and chunky pieces to it i don't find that the nail polish is gritty when you have it on especially when you put on your top coat it really smooths things out I would say this formula isn't as long nail friendly. You might have to go back and apply a little bit more of the nail polish on the tip of the nails just to kind of get better coverage and don't leave any empty spots there. The formula levels out really well. Next we have the Diabolical Mojo Jojo. So that's the villain of the series. Okay, so Mojo Jojo was essentially a monkey <laughs> super villain and definitely a beloved character. They use purple for him. I think that works too. His cape has some purple. He's got some purple accents in his costume. The purple, it reminds me of like a grape popsicle and <laughs> it's really fun, really cute. I know Mojo Jojo would hate if I said that, but anyways, it looks good moving on so we got chemical egg last here and it's black i will say okay i feel like i would make it that one purple and maybe like mojo jojo the black color base but anyway it still works for me i have to say you really see the color shifting here in those chunky glitter pieces and it looks so good i did not think i was gonna like this one to tell you the truth but as i went in and put in that second coat girl it looks so good whether you're in the shade or you're in the light it looks so good like i love how the light captures on those glitter pieces like a galaxy ah just incredible and then of course with all these colors i had to go ahead and put a skittle mani not my favorite color combo but i still really like it and i always got to do a skittle whenever there's lots of uh colors like these and then 
I would say the best of the bunch for me would have to be Forces of Evil, and that was that fuchsia shade. I just think it's so pretty, it's so bright, really perfect for this time of year, and I, to me, would encompass this entire series, just really bright, bold, full of color and life, and I really do feel that with this series and this collection. A surprising favorite would have to be Chemical X. Whoa, the black shade. Wow. I'm blown away by it. No, seriously, I was not thinking I was going to like this one. I thought, okay, I'm going to put this to the side. I don't really like it. But when I put it on, wow, that's all I got to say on that. So two coats for everything. You can go ahead in three, but if you do do three, be warned that you might have some issues with it drying down well. You might get some like um, smudging going on. So I would recommend two, even though it is quite sheer. Overall, this collection super fun, highly anticipated. I'm really feeling these collaborations with Mooncat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Really, really fun. Love the colors. The collector's boxes are fun. Just keep in mind it is limited edition. So if you want this collector's box, you better get it right now run don't walk do not wait go get it at mooncat.com and of course let me know your favorite powerpuff girl character if you watched the show or your favorite shade from this collection until then stay healthy stay safe i'll see you in the next video bye